what's up guys <laughs> I've got something I want to show you guys what I did um, like I said on on one of my previous videos that I've got a few things that I need to do on, on my bucky and yeah one of the things that I had to do was my balancer shaft and yeah I changed my oil pump and yeah I've got some videos on that as well but this is one of the, one of the things that happened to me uh, when I exchanged my my lower balancer shaft the one that goes into the oil pump I managed to break off the stud that actually holds the pulley and I'm going to show you guys now what it looked like and my attempt to fix it because I don't want to take out the oil pump otherwise you have to drop the sump and everything and I'm not I'm not going to do that again un unless I have to <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do and see how it works out maybe it help you guys in the future so yeah this is what it looked like yeah it just just broke off right there and uh, just get the focus in yeah so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do to get this thing up and running without removing this whole oil pump again uh, so yeah just uh, in a second I'll show you then we'll set up here with a with a cable extension and a little a Dremel bit I'm just gonna get the focus in there and then I went to the store this morning and I bought a a few things I got a tap and die set here. I got a two drill bits and a couple of bolts and a center punch. So my plan is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and grind it off until I get it flush with the with the pulley and then I'm gonna drill it, I'm gonna tap it to an M8 and then I'm gonna I'm gonna insert a bolt with some Loctite and a flat and spring washer and let's hope it works. Right, on a different note, the Dremel did seem like a very good idea at first, but I had to, I had to stop with the Dremel because it takes, for ages, it takes forever. However, I'm going to up my game a little bit. Um, this is plan B. Hmm. Yeah, that seemed to work quite nicely. And... Uh, yeah, now we've got a nice flat surface and we can get the center of the bolt or whatever the stud and then obviously make a center punch and start drilling. What I'm basically doing now is I'm using my camera to line up with the bolt to see where I have made my my center punch. And yes, what I'm going to do is I, I need to adjust my center punch a little bit as it is too high. So I'm just going to do it again. As you can see, I'm not, I'm not forcing it. I'm just making a little, little mark. Yeah, that looks a bit closer to the center right there. Uh, I'm just going to get it nice in there. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to make a proper center punch, and then I'm going to start drilling. I'm just going to double check that as my, my center punch jumped to the right, but yeah, the center one still looks good. I'm just going to, just going to make sure. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. 
Ja, genau das Dampfer drüben. from the center, uh, it's quite good, yeah, it's not too bad, yeah, let's continue. Check the hole again, make sure it is still close to the center. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think it's pretty close. Even if it's off by half a millimeter, it should be alright. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So yeah, just keep on going, keep on going, keep the lubrication on there, keep on running, we'll just wash the lubrication off once we're done. But yeah, until then, keep on running. Oh, my arms are burning. Oh man, this is hard. <laughs> I'm only in about a centimeter now. Still need to go another two or three more. It's gonna take a while. I think let's have a look at it. See, see what it looks like. So like I said, I'm, I'm using my phone to line it up and get a better glimpse of what's happening because you won't get your eyes in front of the pulley. Yeah, the, the phone is the best way to get a glimpse of what's happening. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Should be alright. I'm gonna have to stop here, my arms are burning. I need to come back in a while and continue. But for now, I'm just gonna stop. I'll continue once I'm back. All right, just to make a, a long video short, I'm busy tapping the hole which I've drilled. And uh, yeah, it's not far from center, which is good. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna tap this and I'll be back after this. Now, I have started tapping and I was fortunate enough to to break the tap off <laughs> inside the hole but yeah so I'm just gonna it went fairly deep so yeah, I just want to get it out and see if I can get the bolt to go in all the way and yeah then we're gonna we're gonna start assembling and see how it goes all right so I have removed the tap from the hole and this is the plan which I'm gonna use so I've got a 
8.8 high tensile bolt spring washer smaller flat washer the original flat washer and then i'm just going to apply loctite and what do you call it nut lock loctite and then i'm just going to insert the bolt tighten it and let it set and then yeah maybe for a hour or two and then after that i'm going to continue with the assembly and start it up and see see what's happening all right guys there you have it uh, the new bolt is installed and as you can see it is it's pretty much center yeah so i've applied my my, my loctite as well as a a spring washer just to to prevent it from from untightening itself so i believe it's going to be good i'm just going to let it sit for a while and then i'm just going to continue with the assembly and yeah we're going to start it up all right folks there you have it uh, the assembly is completed and everything is back where it should be and uh yeah just want to show you this what i did as well so yeah my my intake here was loose and i just used drilled a little hole there put a self tapper screw in there and i was fixed so there's no more wear and tear on that one so yeah it's time to start it up and and see how it goes let's do it just want to make sure it's in neutral yeah all right let's see what happens Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, nice and quiet. Yeah, I believe on the video it's gonna make quite a noise, but yeah, it's just nice and still. Yeah. I'm happy with that. 